Hi all, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Hope you weren't in Coopi. Um, so Coopi looks like it's rubbed. If you go to the website now, it says bad gateway. That's an error. Looks like we've got an invalid response from the upstream server. That's all we know. So uh, yesterday and I think maybe the day before, they had withdrawal issues. And clearly that, that was a case of the money running out. And now they just, uh, they've just got rid of the domain name now. Um, so you can't see what was there previously. So they've taken the money and run. Uh, they raised a lot of money in the Quapi token with a lot of YouTubers promoting that. Um, you know, as a completely useless, worthless token, it was purely there as a cash grab to raise money from you guys. And they were promising things like it would go from 50 cents to $1. Uh, they were using uh, long-term goals to suck you into the project and make it seem that this project would last longer. But I do blame mostly YouTubers um, for promoting this because without promotion, then this project would never have grown to what it has grown. I also blame the people who joined the, the scheme as well. You know, it is your own fault. As as YouTubers say, you know, they didn't force you into pressing the button to join up. They coerced you and they lied to you um, in, in, in telling you what things were going to go on. And that's the problem that I have with these YouTubers. They don't completely tell the truth on how they promote these projects. Some of them just use it as a, we're documenting our journey. Okay, and they say uh, things like, yeah, this is going to rug. Okay, at some point, we don't know when, but it will definitely rug. It's just a question of when. And and they start saying things like it's a casino and all of those kind of things. And it, it completely is not. Okay, a casino is regulated. This is not regulated. Okay, uh, the FCA said this wasn't regulated. Um, so it was a Ponzi from the get go. And Yes, some YouTubers did say, you know, this is likely to be a Ponzi, okay, and you got, you still got in it. So I don't understand the logic of some of you people who follow these YouTubers and still get in this crap. I mean, you've got things like Solana that go from $0.08 cents to $0.64. Cents. You could have eight times your money in a blue chip stock, in a blue chip crypto. You could have doubled your money in Bitcoin, okay, which are much more solid um, investments. Um, but this is was clearly a scam from the get go. So I, honestly, I don't understand some of you. I really don't understand some of you. you. You just you are greedy, some of you. Okay, but I will take it that some of you are naive, and you don't really understand the uh, you don't understand the the crypto sphere. Okay, um, most of most of these projects are. 99% of these projects are just going to rug or be a Ponzi scheme. And, and I think some of you are very naive and, and thinking that it's possible to make 3% a day through trading and stuff like that. So I take some of you got sucked in and, and believe this, but I, I think that's a case of you wanted to believe these things were true. Okay. But realistically, if you, you know, you really think about these things, you know, it, it can't be true. Um, so quappy has gone. Uh, don't look for another scheme like this. There's plenty of other schemes like this, like Centrium. Again, complete Ponzi scheme, probably run by the same team. But there are a few others out, out here that, that look like they're run by the same team. Okay, so you need to get out of them or not get in them in the first place. That would be a much better thing to do, not get in, into them in the first place. Okay, so anyway, catch you later. Hope you weren't in this. Um, oh yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to say. A lot of people will say that you've um, that they have made money in this. Okay, the majority of people are, on the whole, most people can't have made money. Okay, because the team behind this must have made money. The affiliate, uh, the scam affiliates, the scam YouTube affiliates will have made some money out of this. The people like Jonathan Seller, he's made a lot of money out of this, and he, he admits that he's made lots of money out of this by getting you to follow him into uh, <clears throat> into the scheme, okay, and making affiliate commissions. Now, he, he'll conveniently sort of say at the end, oh, I couldn't draw this 20,000 and this 10,000. Look, I've got all of this locked in into the, uh, into the, into the project, and I can't get it. And I, I'm like you kind of thing. I've lost money too kind of thing. On the whole, he hasn't lost money, all right? 
So he's up and he can use that, oh, look, I've lost money and go on to the next thing, okay, and be like you, okay? And he's not like you, all right? He's not like you at all. You know, he coerced many of you into the project by making false claims that he put 25,000 of his own money into the project when he hadn't. It was actually given to him by Coopi, and he didn't disclose that information. He only disclosed it in, uh, later on when he got found out, basically. Okay, and that, that's no good. That's that's deceptive, okay? That's deception. Anyway, I am off. <laughs>